The humanitarian community is a complex one. It's significantly bigger. There's a lot more money being spent. There are many more people involved. We continue to suffer from good intentions. We, in theory, um, share one goal, which is to save lives. The humanitarian imperative and that spirit to respond to suffering and to need is, is very powerful and it's a wonderful thing. However, it can also um, create chaos and conflict. But within that, that uh, envelope, uh, th there are um, really very, very widely different, differing views about how we should go about doing that. There are many, many quality and accountability initiatives. There are many ways of thinking about quality and accountability. <laughs> Sphere is certainly a landmark in, in, in the evolution of the humanitarian system. Project Sphere has réussi à catalyser et à mettre ensemble beaucoup de gens qui se posaient des questions sur la qualité. Voilà, ça a été un mouvement international très collaboratif, très participatif. Et en ce sens, je crois que ça a été très utile, en tant que quant à savoir transmettre une série de connaissances et disperser les entre multitudes d'acteurs que de otra forma hubiera sido difícil, ¿no? que pudieran eh, compartir todo este conocimiento. It's become more of the culture of organizations. It's no longer possible to do work without thinking, are we doing our work according to the sphere standards? What you can almost call today in the sphere movement has become a very accepted and everyone uses sphere standards as a point of reference today. It made predictable to the users what the humanitarian sector can offer. I think it gave an opportunity for agencies um, who are newly working together or agencies who are working with donor governments or host governments to say, what are we trying to do here together? What's really, what are we trying to, to make sure happens for these communities that have been affected by disasters? There's no doubt that the Sphere uh, project has contributed enormously to the whole accountability concept. In fact, it's one of the cornerstones to begin to understand what accountability means, because accountability means your ability in a transparent manner to uphold those standards and show your books and demonstrate that you actually do it. Sphere certainly it changed the language it introduced language of standards and performance and rights it gave this humanitarian system a, a sort of common lexicon it gave it a common language and you know with language comes comes identity so i think it it was a landmark in 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 forging an identity the identity of the humanitarian system. The desire to improve quality and accountability across the system has, has uh, you know, generated many different initiatives. There have been many flowers, as it were, of that sort that have, uh, that have, that have bloomed. So you've got ALMAP was being formed, uh, the People in Aid Code of Best Practice had been prepared, you've got the Code of Conduct that was published You've got the Sphere project, uh, and then later you've got the Ombudsman, which became the Humanitarian Accountability Partnership. So you've got a, a, an amazing creative period going on uh, that I felt it represented potentially a revolution in the way that the humanitarian community operated. Whether the revolution has realized its potential, I would say it hasn't. Uh, it hasn't flowed through and achieved all the things that I would have hoped it would. Of course, things have improved a lot, and I think that has to be, you have to be clear about that. In terms of quality and accountability, I think there's no question that over the last 20 years or so, the humanitarian community has greatly 
improved its practice and become much more responsible. I think that the main achievement of, of Sphere and its uh, sister initiatives has been to make the language of quality and accountability an indispensable part of uh, humanitarian discourse. Um, the challenge is converting that discourse into an operational rea reality. But any, in any system as big and as complex as this, I think there's no single answer. There's no initiative or there's no suite of initiatives that achieves everything. The sort of quality and accountability sort of work that agencies do in the, the three or four global organizations that work on this, it, in effect, the way I see it is they, they sort of nudge the system. You know, it's not, you can't look at it and say that big change happened because of ALNAP or Sphere, but you can say all of these things have caused people to think slightly differently. I think the, the challenges looking ahead actually uh, are in some respects are really rather remarkably familiar. Um, they still are. How do we run a humanitarian enterprise which is accountable to the people who we seek to assist and serve. We've made a bit of progress on the thinking on how to do that, but I don't think we've made anything like enough progress in the operationalization of the practice of accountability. So the potential of Sphere to drive quality improvement, I don't think has been really fully exploited. But I think it needs more push. It needs more conscious monitoring of those standards and those indicators, and more openness amongst agencies to share their results, uh, to really exploit the potential of Sphere. Porque me parece que es el desafío que aún está pendiente, la verdadera aplicación de Sphere con las personas afectadas. Es decir, que ellos manejen normas e indicadores en su propia comunidad para que la gente, en base a ese derecho, exija que las personas afectadas en una situación de emergencia o desastre tienen derecho a vivir con dignidad. Hay en el sector hoy una impaciencia de ver realmente bouger positivamente un certain nombre de, euh, de mécanismes en place hein, non satisfaisants. Une opportunité, c'est qu'aujourd'hui, il y a euh, voilà, une culture commune euh, sur les enjeux de qualité euh, et puis sûrement une, des attentes euh, convergentes hein, de, de, de faire bouger, de faire évoluer euh, le système. What the Sphere project means for me today in my current job is that I would like to, to see the civil society community and you know, community organizations and many of us to together test a similar idea on the prevention area. Because there are many ways of interpreting disaster risk reduction and prevention, and I think we could benefit from going through a similar process. The Sphere project is part of an overall discourse about what is the role of humanitarian aid, and particularly international humanitarian aid. And yes, quality, accountability, um, having evidence based engagement is absolutely critical. But I think it needs to be kept inside a, a much bigger discourse of how is that aid understood? How is that aid actually impacting um, communities that have been affected by disasters or, or conflict? Probably the most important and defining feature at the end of the day is, again, listening to how those who are at the receiving end of all of this actually experience. Um, uh, this engagement.